Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review today. I'm here to tell you about the latest from Crystal Viper, The Cult, out February 12 on Listenable Records. The album has 11 tracks, 44 minutes in length, and this is the band's eighth full-length studio album. These guys are a classic heavy metal band from Poland, led by Marta Gabriel on guitar and vocals. This record starts off with Providence, an instrumental intro track that stands alone as an island. I wish that this song permeated into the second song on the album, The Cult, and allow itself to better connect with the overall structure of the record. As it stands, it feels really alone and it feels really segregated from everything else. So when I listen to this album, I tend to start with the second track on the record and not the opening track. It's really a shame, but I just don't feel like I'm losing anything. And at the same time, I don't feel like that track really adds anything at all to the overall experience that I have when I listen to this record. Now, once you get into that second song, third, fourth song, you start to realize that this album is very fluid, is very dynamic. This album is not a journey, this album is a ride. It brings you up and brings you down and moves you all over the place. It's an album that's very energetic, very dynamic, very fluid, but it never loses track of where it is and where it needs to go. You're always on the edge of your seat. You never really know what the next song is gonna bring because there's no two songs alike. Definitely back to back, they did a wonderful job alternating styles, alternating structures, even alternating soundscapes, if you will, in order to keep the album as fluid, as engaging as possible. Now, once you get into the soundscape, and normally when you're looking at an album that's this dynamic from a structural perspective, the soundscape is not too far behind, and it moves in a similar way. And that's exactly the case with this record. Having said that, this is not an album that it's broken. It doesn't feel like a compilation of tracks or a collection of songs thrown together in order to create an album. The reason for that is that they kept the DNA intact, and that is classic heavy metal sound from the beginning all the way to the end. What they did was they changed the approach, they changed the influences, and they changed the eras in which those influences are coming from. So you're still gonna get classic heavy metal across all 11 songs, but you're gonna get different feels or different takes on what classic heavy metal should sound like. This allows the album to be that dynamic, not just from a structural perspective, but also from a soundscape perspective, making the overall experience very engaging. This is an album that has these two moving pieces, structure and soundscape, but these two moving pieces are moving in the same direction and parallel to each other, allowing the album to be as strong as it can be, not feel broken, still have that red line all the way through, and have a very similar output, doesn't matter which song you're listening to. Now, once you get deeper into that sound, you definitely have to mention the guitars. And there are some positives and there are some negatives with the guitars. In my opinion, the negative is perhaps the inability that the guitars have to direct the sound, to direct the overall approach, to dictate where the songs are going. They, they don't have enough strength, they don't have enough power, they don't have enough force to really dictate uh, where you're going with any single track on this album. And that takes a little bit of the sting away from the record, it takes a little bit of the power away from the album. It doesn't hurt the overall quality of the record, it just hurts the direction and drive that these songs could have. Now, on the positive side, I love the melodies, I love the leads, I love the guitar solos. This album has incredible guitar solos top to bottom. Understanding the dynamic of the tracks, understanding what the songs uh, are, are need, what they call for, and every single solo on this album adds something to the song that they're in. They're not just there because you need to have a solo there. No, they're there to really enhance the beauty, enhance the melody, enhance the experience and atmosphere that the songs have to offer. So from that perspective, the guitars are phenomenal on this record. They really added life, energy, and presence on the solos, on the leads, on the melodies with every single song. Now, the element that really pushes this record forward and perhaps fills in the gaps uh, in the songs where the guitars don't have that drive, don't have that power, is the vocals. Marta's vocals are outstanding. Her full range, her full glory is in full display on this album. She really understood what the tracks call for. Not just from a lyrical perspective, what, what kind of emotion you needed to give to the song, but also from a musical perspective, what you need from the vocals in order to enhance the experience for the listener, in order to elevate these tracks, to uh, elevate them to a different status so that they don't feel like they're just mundane at best. And she was able to deliver on every single song, really pushing herself, giving you a glimpse of everything that she has to offer, uh, understanding 
understanding the internal dynamics of the songs, understanding the overall dynamic of the record, what you needed to do in order to enhance the track, in order to enhance the fluidity of the album at that specific point, and then she just went and delivered it and delivered it in spades. Her vocals are definitely one of the bright spots, if not the main bright spot of this album. They're very consistent, not in approach, but in quality from top to bottom. In approach, they're very diverse because she has a very wide range and she gives you a look at everything that she can offer, but from a quality perspective, super consistent on every single song. Overall, I really enjoy this record. This is a great album that offers a very dynamic approach, staying within one genre, but using everything that that genre has to offer to create an album that's very dynamic, very fluid, that moves in very in many different directions, that's in constantly evolving and morphing and, and pushing the listener into different arenas. So it's really kudos to the band to understand that you can make an album that's diverse in sound, diverse in structure, diverse in approach and still feel as one, still allow it to be connected by using one genre but using everything within that genre at your display so that you can make the album come to life with every single track and offer glimpses of things that you can do differently with every single song so that the album is not repetitive, you don't feel like you're spinning your wheels, you rather feel like you're moving and you're moving at a very nice pace from song to song in a very seamless way. Now as far as tracks are concerned, I have to start off with Sleeping Giants, one of my favorite songs on this album. I love this track, it has a little bit of a folk melody, the way the guitars come across, the overall melody on this track sounds very folky, almost something out of the Highlands, the, Scotland, uh, the Scottish Highlands, it has a little bit of that vibe to it and I love it. It adds a different feel, it adds a different vibe, it's a song that musically sounds very different from everything else you're gonna get on this record and in my opinion that is driven by that folkiness of flavor that this track has. It's absolutely contagious, specifically in the chorus. The chorus is beautiful, it has a beautiful melody, the vocals come in, they add a lot of power, they elevate the song, they elevate the quality of the track, they elevate the presence of the track, the verses feel a little bit more contained, which allows that chorus to be a little bit more bombastic, to be a little bit more over the top, more explosive, if you will. And you get a full taste of Marta's range within this song. You really get to see what she can offer, what she can do, stay contained in some points and then absolutely explode over the top and others, allowing the song to be dynamic, perhaps more on a vocal perspective while remaining very contained on, a, on the musical side. Having said that, the solo is definitely the icing on the cake. The solo is explosive. The solo brings more out of the dynamic mechanisms that you are getting on the vocal side of the song than it does from the musical side of the track. So that's a very interesting approach and one that works perfectly well for this song. Next, The Calling. Uh, this is a track that offers a little bit of a different bite from the guitars. The guitars definitely have more of a main role. They have more meat on the bone, if you will, throughout the song. Not just in the verses, not just in the chorus, but all the way throughout. You just feel that from the track. Vocally as well, this is a song that offers a little bit more bite on the vocals. So the vocals and the guitars have a little bit more of a strong presence. It's a song that's not as light. There's a little bit of weight to it. And that weight comes across in the chorus, for example, by using backing vocals. The backing vocals don't add necessarily heaviness, but they add layers, and those layers make the song feel a little bit more substantial, giving a lot more volume to how it comes across, a lot more thickness, uh, and, and that is an important element, because the song has heaviness built in into it, as far as the guitars are concerned, they come more through in the verses, and then when you get into the chorus, instead of increasing the volume of the guitars, or, in, or making the vocals go out of their way, adding backing vocals adds a different level, uh, it adds a little bit of power and strength without making necessarily the song heavy, creating an interesting dynamic as you transition from one end to the other. Once again, another track with another great guitar solo, just magnificent, adding a lot of strength to the overall presence of this song. Last but not least, the last track on the album, Welcome Home, a King Diamond cover. Now, when I was listening to the album and this song came on, I wasn't really looking at the track listing, so I didn't know what the song was, but I immediately recognized the track, and, I, and my first thoughts were, there's no way they're doing a King Diamond cover. I mean, nobody has the gall to do a King Diamond cover, and they did, and they delivered it. Musically, the song stays very close to the original. There's not a lot of differences. They don't deviate too much from that beaten path, and that's fine. I, I For the, the style and sound that this record has, for the style and sound that the band has, 
I didn't want them to deviate too much from what the original is because it fits perfectly into the overall atmosphere, into the overall soundscape that this record has in mind for the listener. So this is a track that as a cover fits just like a hand in a glove. Now the question for me as I start listening to this song is what about the vocals? Because that's where things get a little bit tricky. And once again, Marta deliver an incredible performance. If you're a fan of King Diamond, you have to listen to this cover. This is gonna go down as one of the best covers of 2021. She delivered it. There was certain points of the song that I thought that I was listening to King Diamond. That's how good the vocals were on this track. The, out, outstanding, this song, musically and vocally, but I think anybody who's a fan of the band, either a fan of Crystal Viper or a fan of King Diamond are gonna be blown away more so by the vocals on this track, by the quality that they have, by the delivery, by the tone, by the range, just phenomenal. What a cover to close off this record. This is it guys, Crystal Viper, The Cult, out February 12th on listenable records. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles. Use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care guys.